Tonight on Life on the Rock, we have Alex Jones, creator of the Hello app. We'll see a video about the virginity of Mary and much more. Welcome to this episode of Life on the Rock. Tonight's going to be a great show. We have the CEO and co-founder of Hallow, a Catholic and meditation prayer app. So get out your smartphones. I want you to download this app tonight. We're now going to a video from Father Mark about Mary's vow of virginity. Well, I'm on the trail. I feel like I'm coming out of a, a tomb here, a cave. It reminds us of Jesus on Easter morning. You know, he rises from the dead. He passes through the stone blocking the entrance to the tomb. And the church fathers saw this as an image of Mary's virginity, almost as a repeat of the mystery that the first time, you know, he came through Mary without violating her virginity. That we speak of her as a virgin before, during, and after the birth of Christ. It was a virginal conception. You remember Matthew, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, cites that prophecy from Isaiah that a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Well, Mary is that virgin, that her virginity was preserved. You remember at the Annunciation, when the Archangel Gabriel announces this good news of, of the birth of Christ, Mary asks a question. How can this be since I do not know man, since I don't have relations with man? Now we're told the first lines of this scene that Mary is betrothed to a man named Joseph. So she is legally married. They have not yet come together, but she is married. So why would she ask Gabriel this question of how can this be? That's the normal course of married life, to get married, have kids. Unless she had this intention to remain a virgin, the Holy Spirit had inspired in her to make a personal vow of virginity. And we see that in her questioning. The Holy, Gabriel tells her, you know, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. And well, will be conceived to you as son of the Most High, the Son of God. So Mary, in her virginal conception, is ushering a new birth by the Spirit. She is the perfect exemplar of what the church is going to continue throughout history. That the, the church is mother, bringing forth new life by preaching, proclamation of the gospel, people come to faith, receive the sacraments, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist especially, to give us that new life. So the church is mother and virginal because her motherhood happens through the working of the Holy Spirit. That virginal motherhood where the Holy Spirit's working to bring forth life in human souls. You know, Mary ushers in that new way of, of giving birth to eternal life in all of us. Her virginity is a great sign of the faith, unadulterated faith we were called to have in God. It's a sign of being totally committed to the Lord as spouse, as the everything in our life, the one thing necessary, the more that we're all called to seek. That's what we see in Mary as virgin and mother. May the Lord give you his peace. Alex Jones, CEO and co-founder of Hello Prayer Extraordinaire. <laughs> I don't think so. I know. We'll be talking about prayer uh, today. Your app, your app it really is, I think, all about prayer um, to lead people into yeah. um, a relationship, first of all, with, with the living God, with the God who is not dead but alive. Yeah. Um, first of all, you, a little bit of your background, Alex, where you came from, you know, how you came about to found Hello. Yeah, the um, short story, and thanks for having me, sure. is uh, so I was raised Catholic and then very quickly fell away from my faith in high school and college. And when I graduated, I started trying to wrestle with what I actually believed. And I thought prayer was uh, an interesting way to test whether there was something on the other side there. And uh, so what I did is I started praying um, every day for a while, but it always kind of felt like I was just uh, journaling in my own head. It never really felt like I was 
uh, building a relationship at all. And at the same time, I was fascinated with some of the secular mindfulness meditation stuff that was going on. And so we started asking a bunch of people, you know, is there any type of intersection between this contemplative, meditative uh, aspect of life and, and the faith? And as you would know, everyone who we talked to who knew anything uh, said, of course. And so we started learning all about, uh, you know, the 2,000 years of beautiful tradition within the Catholic spirituality. And, you know, I sat down and tried Alexio Divina session. Uh, uh, um, and, I mean, it just totally broke down in tears. It, um, it was just this beautiful combination of, like, this sense of peace with a real relationship and purpose and depth and meaning. Uh, so anyway, Hala was kind of the idea of if kind of the popular sec secular mindfulness apps can be successful in teaching people in an approachable way how to do those techniques, why can't the same thing be done with this beautiful Catholic spirituality? Why the name Hala? <laughs> yeah, well, um, the first Lectio Divina session that I did was on uh, Christ teaching the, the Lord's Prayer. And uh, in Lectio Divina, mm -hmm. you... Uh, read through a passage a couple times and pick a word that sticks out to you. And the word that stuck out to me that I'd never really focused on before was hallow. But it was this beautiful conversation where it wasn't stressful, but it was kind of, you know, what does hallow mean to make holy? Am I supposed to be making God's name holy? How is he supposed to be making me holy? How am I letting him make me holy? How am I supposed to be helping other people grow in holiness? And it was just this, it was this awesome uh, representation of what we wanted the the app to be, which is helping people to let God make them holy. What are some aspects of the app? Some just take me through some, you know, areas of where med what is meditation to begin with? Uh, yeah. so some people hear that word and think, well, what is that? Yeah. I mean, the beautiful part about it is it's so diverse, um, but it's essentially trying to put yourself in a situation where you can listen and mm -hmm. share with with God and build a real relationship with them. And you can do that through scripture, or through the rosary, through reflecting on your day and Ignatian spirituality, through Carmelite prayer and recollection and imaginative prayer, all this beautiful, um, rich tradition of different things that work at different times in your life. But the way that the app works is really simple. You open it up and you can pick from a handful of different things. You've got the rosary, you can meditate on the daily gospel, mm -hmm. you could focus on a theme of calm or humility. We have mm -hmm. the litany of humility. That's um, hard, yeah, by the way. That's probably one of my favorite prayers of all time is yeah. the Litany of Humility. Every time you pray with it, you <laughs> you might think you're a little bit humble, and every time you pray with it, you're like, man, I've it's got like so a much farther it's to like, go. It's like, nope. No, yeah. Every single line, every single stroke, it's like, yep, that's me, yep, that's yeah, me. Yeah, no, it is a tough one for sure, um, which we always start. We do a, a Lenten challenge, which I'm sure we'll talk about, but we always start Ash Wednesday mm -hmm. with the Litany of Humility, which is just such a beautiful way to, to ground yourself throughout the season. But... You pick whatever it is, you pick 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then you press play and put the phone down, plug in your headphones, and you have a guide there, either male or female. You can pick who, who leads you through the session, says, okay, now take a few deep breaths, now ask God for help, and now I'm going to read the scripture twice slowly, pick what sticks out to you, and I'll start a conversation. It's, you know, a lot of silence and a lot of room for you to build your own relationship with God. I appreciated that. Um just you know, a couple of days I downloaded the app and and you gave me a subscription. I was I was, you know, thank you by the way. And you know, just to to think about, um, you know, first of all, in the, in the busyness of the day, sometimes people don't realize that you know you need to settle down. Yeah. You need to in the in the in the thick of the day when you're running around doing things, you need to just relax. You need to you know just breathe and just just calm your mind and then we can enter into this you know dialogue with God this this prayer yeah I, I really appreciated that yeah no it was it was one of the things obviously that changed my life but uh, when we were building it uh, super early I mean for me uh, the story five years ago I yeah. was atheist sat right. down started discovering the spirituality maybe two three years ago and right. it just uh, I feel like there's a, a real relationship there with with God and right. so it's um, now so breaking, Catholic breaking faith, through yeah, and no God definitely. breaking through the the noise of our life. Yeah, and you feel like you can really listen to him. Like there's something going on there that you can um, tap into. Which That's great. there was a when we first launched it and we're testing it with just friends and family. There was a woman who was using our app. She was mm -hmm. maybe 22 years old, but she was really struggling with a handful of things going on in her life. And the way she described it, I thought was beautiful. Which is, you know, in our physical world, it can often be busy. Um, but there's places like churches and 
um, beautiful chapels that you can go in and kind of find this place of peace. Mm. And on your phone, it's also this, uh, this place where so many of us live so much of our lives. And it's this place of busyness and stress and anxiety. You've got Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and it's just it's overwhelming. But uh, for her, her point was to have uh, an app. And it's a big purple app, as you can <laughs> tell, but it just kind of takes over the screen. And it, it's just kind of dedicating that digital space, the space in your phone, to God, and then giving that 10 minutes. And it was kind of like, yeah, we have this space in the physical world. Why shouldn't we have that same space in, it, in our phones? Well, when we come back, Alex, we'll talk about the cathedral of that phone <laughs> um, and just how, how the app is just one part of that, yeah, right? Absolutely. Cool. Alex, you know, thanks for coming down. Yeah, and absolutely. And also, just uh, those of your uh, co-founders, and just to thank them too, uh, yeah. please from me and everybody that is benefiting from your app. It's it's gonna it's gonna do a, a great thing. So many people use their phones all the time. I mean, yeah. we're on these things all day long, constantly, and so we want to use the the di digital continent, as Pope Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI called it, to sanctify the airwaves. You know, to help people enter, enter into this dialogue with God. You know, let's talk about the Lenten challenge. You know, what exactly is the Lenten challenge and you know, how many people you know, right now or how many people do you expect will sign up? Yeah, so there's a place in the app that we just added that's um, called a community tab where we can mm -hmm. go through content together. Uh, you can always do stuff individually, but the community is meant uh, so we all do the same sessions on the same day and kind of share in that as a community. And one of the biggest ones that we're excited for is the Lenten, what we're calling Pray 40 Challenge, mm -hmm. um, which the goal is to pray 40 days of Lent, either the 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever is accessible for you. But we will release a new session uh, every day of Lent, and I'm really excited for uh, the content. We've spent a lot of time, but it'll start with the Litany of Humility, like we talked about, yeah. go through rosaries and examines, and then uh, the works of mercy, and then wrap up with the Stations of the Cross. And it was really powerful last year to go through as a group, and so we're really excited to do it now. I think there's, you can see it on the app when you join, but I think mm -hmm. there's around 1,500 to 2,000 people so far, but most sign up right I around think, I think I was number, like 1,338 you know, or yeah, something like yeah, that, you know. Yeah. No, we'd probably, uh, the, the big spike is mostly through the week of Ash Wednesday and, and okay. kicking off Lent. So that's when uh, most people will get started and we'll all get, we'll get started together. Yeah, and there's something about Lent too. I mean, Lent's not a holy day of obligation, but it's amazing how so many people show up yeah, for Ashes. Ash Wednesday. And, you, and almost as many people as for Easter or for Christmas, there's something about Lent. So. I think it's great that you're using and um, you know it in a holy way, yeah, and inviting people to enter into this challenge together. Yeah, and I think it's you know Lent is often so focused on you know you got the three pillars: prayer, fasting, almsgiving. Mm -hmm. Often people focus on fasting as I'm going to give up chocolate or whatever you're going to give up, and then almsgiving too. How do you serve? But prayer, I don't think people uh, often hold as how am I really going to push myself to grow in prayer? And so that's yeah. what that's what we're really focused on. And I think the the Ash Wednesday thing is, um, I think there is a real hunger for growth and humility, which is what, mm. what Ash Wednesday is, is uh, all about, which is, I think, uh, the really exciting part when you see huge masses on, on Ash Wednesday. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, tell us a little bit about you know, just um, the asceticism. You know, I is there going to be any asceticism involved? It's kind of like in Exodus 90, there's a little bit of asceticism involved, but is there any, any meditations on what asceticism is and challenging people to deny yourself? Yeah, I mean, we're, the nice part about the app is we're continuing to add content yeah. uh, every month. And so that's one of the big things that uh, we're focused on is adding specific content for asceticism. But the thing that we're, um, so I love Exodus 90. I think yeah. we were talking about this um, before I had, I had done it last year. And I think the, the real way that uh, it works beautifully with the Hallow app is Exodus 90 says, hey, give 20 minutes or an hour of prayer a day. Mm -hmm. And then the question is, how do I structure that 20 minutes or, or an hour? And mm -hmm. the asceticism kind of frees you to enter into that prayer in a much more beautiful way. And then giving you the structure of the, the techniques of, of the contemplative techniques of spirituality that we have in, in the Hallow app kind of help fill that 20 minutes to say, how do I structure these 20 minutes? So, so, for, so for somebody starting the Exodus, it might dove, the two apps might yeah. dovetail 
yeah. together. They they may not know what to do with 20 minutes, of, uh, 30 minutes of prayer. Yeah. And your hallowed app may, you know, fill that void in yeah. a sense, you know, help them structure their day in prayer. Yeah. And I would hope for us, and you know, the real goal is we don't uh, try to tell you what to do, but mm -hmm. let you uh, put you in the room to listen for what God is asking you to do. And God often asks us to be uh, to push ourselves in asceticism and so yeah. the hope is by spending time in prayer you also get more serious about your, your asceticism efforts. Yeah. Tell us some stories just to, pr about people who have used the app and what you've heard. Yeah I mean there have been the, it's been the biggest blessing of my life just to be a part of people's mm. spiritual lives and I could go mm. a handful of stories about yeah, sure. a bunch of different people who have who have uh, God has been able to reach um, uh, because of the app, which has been incredibly humbling. But there was a story we got just, I think it was three or four days ago, where uh, there was a girl who I think was in high school or college, and um, she just sent us a message, a message saying, I just wanted to thank you for um, uh, what you did for me today and what the, what the app let God do for me today. I, I was in a class, and they were talking about suicide, and I was starting for whatever reason to get really overwhelmed. I couldn't think it was uh, hazy. And so I went into the bathroom. I put my head in between my knees and I just couldn't, I, I was just losing my mind. And so I uh, put my headphones in and we have a calm prayer list. Uh, mm -hmm. And she picked the first session from there, which is just uh, Christ saying, do not worry. And uh, mm -hmm. she just said she felt this immediate sense of, of peace and calm and was able to go back to class and, and get through the rest of the day, which you know is, is clearly not uh, it's clearly Christ working um, through uh, this medium, and, and so it's just humbling to, to get to see. Well, that's awesome. I mean, grace is mediated. We believe that, you know, that grace is mediated through the sacraments and through read the reading of Scripture. So, so this medium, digital medium of, of social communications, we can use that to sanctify, to, to yeah. glorify God yeah. to, for Absolutely. His holy purposes. Absolutely. So in, in downloading the app, um, can you download it on different devices? Yeah, you can download it anywhere. So it's just you type in Hallow, like Hallowed Be Thy Name, H-A-L-L-O-W, into either the iPhone, Apple App Store, or the Google App Store. You can download it, start it, um, and just in time for, for Lent, which will be exciting. And then we also have uh, gift cards if you want to gift it to uh, children or family or friends. You can go to our website, hallow.com, and, and gift cards. Uh, yeah. Get them from you there. can also share it too. Yeah, know, people, it, a lot of people that are benefiting from the Hallowed app, they can they can share it with friends and family and say, hey, this is a great way to to learn how to pray. Yeah, yeah. Alex, thank you so much for coming. No, thanks uh, for having me. Such a great way to to make His name holy. Hallowed be Thy name. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Brother John, so many people have these things in their hands oh, yeah. wherever you go. Yep. I mean, it seems like you, you, you're looking around, you yeah. see people not communicating with one another. But, you know, the reality is that we can use technology um, for good means. Mm -hmm. We oh, can absolutely. allow yeah. it not to control us, but we control it. Yeah. I mean, there's so much good that technology does, especially with the apps. And I think, you know, just the whole uh, hallowed app, you know, if we don't have a prayer life, this is a good way to bring that into our lives and get started because God's graces, again, are communicated through the sacraments, but also through prayer. A lot of graces are communicated through prayer, and if we don't know how to pray, hallow is there for us. Yeah, what is Lexio Divina? We did talk about yeah. that in the show a little bit with Alex, but yeah. in your experience, how important is Lexio Divina? It is it's very important. Even just praying the daily scriptures, or the scriptures daily, you know, and, and just focusing on a word, and that's how Alex got started, you know. Just saying the Lord's Prayer, of the word hallowed, never really gave any thought to it. But, you know, God's grace moved him. Now he started a whole Catholic spirituality app. So Yeah, within this app, this app is great because um, it has a, 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 the ability to pray the rosary mm -hmm. along, you know, with this app. Yeah. And so many people, you know, they pray the rosary and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to meditate mm -hmm. upon. But this app actually has guided meditations on the rosary. Yeah. And that leads us into to Father Mark's um, you know, comments on the, on, the, on the virginity of Mary. Mm -hmm. In that Mary's openness, you know, because of Mary's commitment as virgin, this shows God's All initiative. Right. Yeah. Um, 
God's total and absolute initiative mm -hmm. in the incarnation, in our salvation. And it, it can be hard to open ourselves up to God. Yeah. But you know, what God asks us to do really isn't that hard. You know, in terms of just praying, maybe doing a little good, a little meditation in doing that. It starts off really small, and God is going to plant those seeds. And over time, it's going to, we're going to grow into a tree and bear fruit. And Mary shows us that example of what she it means does. to be totally receptive, totally mm -hmm. open, totally obedient to God's will. Yeah. What is our Into the Vineyard challenge today is to take up Hallow, take up the Lenten challenge. In this app, you can go to the app and you can just simply click on um, Lenten challenge and be challenged really for 40 yeah. days. Lent is 40 days and it will send you every single day. They'll have a challenge. They'll have stations of the cross. They'll have the rosary. They'll have Lexio Divina meditations to take up that challenge every oh, yeah. single day. Yeah, I think that and it will challenge way. you, and that's good, because that will allow us to grow, so. Yeah. May the blessing of Almighty God through the intercession of St. Maximilian Kolbe be upon you. May this great saint help you to use social media in a holy way, a hallowed way. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace. Join us next time on Life on the Rock. God bless you. Battle all these winds and waves coming to that mountain. Drink the waters of new life flowing from this fountain. Holy shores I see from here are ones of streets of gold. These 12 gates with 12 pearls, these visions from of old. And I'm all in, but you fall in. That vision tries to fade. And I start to sink, our arms are linked, you carry me away. The mercy is the wind in my sails. Mercy is the wind in my sails. I'm broken, but I'm built up. My failures don't define me. Peace inside the storm, your warm embrace is where you hide me. Come into the ocean, but all I see from eyes are winds and waves. You call me to the ocean, whisper in my ear, child, don't be afraid. This is all I've ever known. This is all I've ever known. You call me to the ocean, call me to the ocean, call me to the ocean, Lord, and I sail away. Lord, I'm 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 sail away.